There are just two skills that you need to learn to guarantee a high paying job in almost any field. So if you're someone who is looking for a little direction in life and want some ideas on what to do, this video is the perfect video for you. Let's get right on into it. To start things off, I'm just going to list out the two skills that I think everybody should at least consider learning. And after that, we'll get into why I chose those skills and how you can learn those skills very easily. The first skill is more of an umbrella term for a couple of different specific skills, and these are quantitative skills. These would include things like programming, statistics, information security, cloud computing, etc., etc. The second skill is qualitative, and that primarily means being able to write and speak concisely and clearly. Now, why did I choose these two skills? Well, to be frank, I didn't choose them. The market chose them. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates that quantitative skills will be increasing at a range of about 30 to 35% growth per year every year for the next 10 years. Now this is compared to the average job growth of around 4% per year, which makes it eight times more in demand than the average job. In addition, the median salary for these technical jobs is between 90 to 100K per year, with plenty of room to go up from there. While other jobs, such as those in the healthcare industry, are also projected to have very high growth rates, around a 30% range, there are a couple reasons why I chose quantitative skills over these. The first reason is the fact that while there may be a lot of jobs available in healthcare and a lot of demand, that doesn't necessarily translate directly to a high salary. Unless, that is, you go to school for a number of years. And that brings me to my second reason, which is that you don't need to go to school for four years to get a very high paying technical job. All you need to do is go online and visit websites such as Coursera, Udemy, coding boot camps, either paid or free, and you can learn enough in three to six months to qualify you for your first job. This is what I have done. I have gone online and taken courses such as Python, JavaScript, web development, blockchain, ethical hacking, and so on and so forth, all costing me around just $10 per course for tens of hours worth of content. If you want to check out the exact courses that I have taken and I recommend, the links will be down in the description. So check those out if you want to. If online courses aren't enough, there are also tons of certificates that you can study for and take online, giving you an extra proof of your competence. After all, that's all a college degree is, is a certificate proving that you are somewhat competent in that area. Now, building a foundational and highly valuable technical skill will give you the freedom to actually go anywhere in the world and find work, not to mention the fact that you can work remotely, which makes this even easier. The truth is, technology is taking over the world and the business world, which means every single business is going to become a technology business. They will be using technology to operate, which means that every single business owner and executive team will need people that know how to work with this technology in their business, and that could be you. But understanding what's going on technically is not enough. You need to be able to communicate this information clearly to your colleagues and your boss, which is where our second skill set comes in. Now, once again, I did not choose this skill. According to monster.com, communication is the number one soft skill for your career. This is because your communication skills influence your relationships with other people in your workplace, and they are crucial for accurately and concisely conveying information to other people, which, if you are in a technical role, is even more important and difficult. We all know how frustrating it is when communication breaks down within a group or a team, and communication skills ensure that this doesn't happen and make sure everyone is on the same page and knows what to do moving forward. Communication skills extend far beyond the workplace as well. After all, what is one of the first things we notice about someone when we meet them? It's how they speak. How you speak will mean that people either receive you and admire you and respect you, or they judge you and look down on you. Therefore, communication skills is one of the highest return on investment activities we can make, not just for our jobs, but for overall life success. 
To build this skill set of communication, you could do a couple of things. One of them would be to join a group such as Toastmasters, which is an international organization that provides clubs in your local area filled with people who want to learn how to improve their public speaking. I've taken one here in Hawaii and it has been a great experience that I've learned a lot from. You could also start a personal project like what I'm doing here on YouTube. Making these videos forces me to first write a clear and concise script and then perform that script in the most effective way that I can. If neither one of those sounds appealing, you could also simply read books and then write summaries of those books in an effective way. All in all, there is a wide variety of different activities and things you could do to improve your communication skills and whatever you do, it will be immensely valuable for not just your career, but the rest of your life. Now, before I wrap up this video, I want to make one more comment and one last piece of advice when it comes to passion. Now, you might have watched this video and heard the skills that I recommend and think, eh, None of those sound particularly exciting. I'm not very passionate about any of them, and I wasn't really a techie person to begin with. I'm just gonna move on and find something else. Now, my advice is this. Don't dismiss these skills simply because you haven't been interested in them up until this point. There's a website called 80,000 Hours, which I just made a video on and I highly recommend you go check out. And they do a lot of research on what makes a fulfilling and meaningful career. Unsurprisingly, they have done a lot of research when it comes to passion and professional success. And what they found is that there's no correlation between passion and professional success or happiness. And overall, we dramatically overestimate the importance of our pre-existing interests and passions when it comes to deciding what to pursue in the future. According to them, the truth is that we are much more flexible than we think and we can find engaging and fulfilling work in a wide variety of different fields and skill sets. The most important thing they say when you are young is to just explore and try things out, especially developing skills that might help to solve the world's most pressing problems. After all, a sense of purpose and meaning is much more highly correlated with an overall life satisfaction, much more so than this idea of passion. I can speak from first-hand experience that I never really thought I was a coder or an engineer or a techie person until I really gave these things a try. And nowadays, they're one of my primary curiosities and interests. So the bottom line is don't rule out these options until you really give them a solid shot. You never know which thing is going to really suck you in and grab your curiosity. Now, if you wanna check out that video I mentioned about the 80,000 hours resource, that is linked right here. Highly recommend you check it out. And if you like this one, please do me a favor and share it with someone who might get some value out of it as well. I'd very much appreciate it. Mahalo for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.